Today I'm making a quick and easy apple crisp dessert using my Ninja Foodi. Stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna get these Granny Smith apples, which I've peeled and added a little bit of apple cider vinegar to it. You can add some lemon, lemon juice to it. That's fine too. That'll help keep it from turning colors, keep them from oxidizing. So let's get these in, in here. Okay. Oh yeah, nice. Okay, a quick toss in here. So now we're gonna add the remaining uh, ingredients here. I've got about, uh, about a teaspoon of uh, cornstarch. I'm just gonna sprinkle that in here. All right. There's about a quarter cup of the light brown sugar. You can use the dark one if you like. So we're just gonna crumble that up in there. Okay. And about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, kind of a combination, pumpkin spice mix, whatever you, whatever you got will work. So I get that in there. And a pinch of salt. Just, just to get the flavor started, get the flavors to come out a little bit. So let's just give these a, a, a rotation here. Okay. And we want to, we don't want to cook these too long, but we, we do want to uh, make sure that uh, the apples get softened a little bit because then we're going to make the crisp to put on top and then we'll air fry it. So it'll all be ready in this pot here. All right, so I'm just going to use this large bowl here to make the crisp for the top while this is still cooking. And you want to make sure you stir it uh, often here, just to make sure that uh, uh, it doesn't burn the bottom. What I have here is pumpkin pie granola. I found this at Target, I think it was. The Good and Gather version. This is, uh, uh, it's got no artificial flavors or sweeteners, and it's, I mean, it's got pumpkin seeds in it. It's got all the, the oats and stuff. It's like really good. Mm, good snack. So basically a dish of granola. About a cup's worth. We're going to add about, uh, about a quarter, uh, quarter cup of uh, brown sugar, the light brown sugar. And some more of that pumpkin spice, cinnamon, allspice, and nutmeg. About another teaspoon. And I'll leave the uh, ingredients list down in the uh, description of the video down below and uh, about a half a cup of all-purpose flour. So let's get that in here. We're gonna give this a stir again, just to make sure we're not losing it. And it's pretty forgiving, so you don't have to worry too much. So I'm just gonna give this a quick toss here. And now what you want, what we're gonna add to this too is uh, about a stick of butter. So you want to make sure that the butter is cold and cubed. So let's put that aside. We're going to get the butter. I'm using Kerrygold butter here. Okay, let's get that aside. And let's cube that up. So now we're going to get this into the granola mix. Okay, and we're just going to toss it up, break it up, get it all working in here. Okay. Okay, we're going to give this another spin here. When we're getting close, you'll know uh, the apples get kind of brownish and soft. So I'm going to just take a fork and see how far we're along. Okay, yeah, pretty, pretty close. So I'm just going to get the apple crisp or the, uh, the granola part of it on top now. So we're just going to get that on top like that. And spread it up a little bit, flatten it down, 
just so it'll cook more evenly. Like that. Now I've got this caramel apple liqueur. I'm going to add to the top of that for a little bit moisture and also yeah, a little extra kick. So. And I'm probably going, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup or so. Okay. Ooh, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Let's get that out of the way here. Okay, so we're going to let this... Now, we're going to put the bake uh, feature on here, which is the fan basically blowing the, the heat down. So let's stop that. And we're going to go to the bake function. I'm going to go about 350 to start. We'll go with 15, 20 minutes. Uh, normally, if you're doing it in an oven, it might take you longer, about 25, 30 minutes, maybe longer than that, depending how many apples uh, you use, and also if they are cold or uh, room temperature. So I'm going to let this cook down, get nice and crispy. I'm going to break out the ice cream and a bowl for when this is done, and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. All right, so this finished here. I let it uh, sit and cool for a little bit. I also added some additional granola here because I, I want that crunch on it. Let's um, choose a spoon here. And let's grab some of this and get that all into my little bowl here. We're going to give that a taste. It smells good. It smells really good. Of course, you need the ice cream. Get a nice, nice scoop. There we go. Right on the top. It's meant to be in pictures. Come on. Little bonus. Just a little, little dabba do ya. Yappa dabba do All right. So, mm, smells really good. Smells really good. Get that, that cinnamon and get the, the liqueur on top of it now. Mm. Mm. That's really good. Sweet. A little tart from the Granny Smith. You get the crunch from the granola. The coolness from the uh, vanilla ice cream. Mm. Mm. Wow. You're going to love this. So here's my Ninja Foodie Apple Crisp. Hope you enjoyed the video. Nice and short and sweet. Give me some likes and comments. Let me know if you have a different recipe that you like, that you use. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.